First off, everybody, big announcement today. You're probably all thinking, whoa, that's not the game he's playing. No, sir. No, it is not. In fact, I just completely forgot to change <laughs> before we got started. Where, where is even, where is even the fishing planet folder? Here we go. How about this? Let's, uh, uh, let's do, let's just, let's just throw, uh, Everglades. We're gonna throw Everglades in the background. There we go. The beautiful, the beautiful Everglades. Fishing planet, everybody. Goodness gracious. Ah, there we go. Woo! It's time to go. It's it's time to do some fishing, everyone. Brand new game today. I'm sure you're all very excited. This game, let me show you. Let me just show you. It's called Fishing Planet, and I know you're all thinking, fishing what? Yeah, the fishing planet. It's the entire planet, all just fishing. It's amazing, it's, it's truly amazing. I've been playing it so long, my hair just grew out and I just didn't even get a haircut. It's it, it's just a lot of fun. And I bet if you all start playing, you'll, you'll have fun with it too, to a certain degree. And at that point, then you wanna look for something else to play, all right? You understand what I'm saying? Ugh. My hair's just so, so itchy when it gets long like this. Okay, top notch. Well, we're gonna be playing a friends only room, so if you're uh, if you're a friend, feel free to join in. Feel free to join in. It's uh, it's rainy today. We're gonna have to skip to day three to even start fishing. So let's get to it because we can't just be sitting around waiting for stuff all day long. Boy is here. TJ Cabell, Emily Reyes in the house. What is this about? And this is so it's so sad today goodness gracious <clears throat> a 
let's see. Skip forward. Here we go. Here's some fishing time. Let's head out and we're gonna make some bait. We're gonna make some bait, everybody. Let's do it. Oh, and Jester in the house, Bubs. Uh, what a gay. Oh, and the Ben Golf, AUS Pago, Daffy Normant, hello. Reese Woodward, yo, and Me224, a Hubman Hub Woman. Hey, right on. The final stream of gaming month, very true. Playing a brand new fishing game. Super excited about it. I uh, forgot to renew. Hey, no trouble there. Why you mean? Hey, Bo, haven't been at the stream for a while. Van D, that's very true, man. Where have you been? Where have you been? Let's see if we can make some, uh, make some magic happen today. 35 ounces of carp rival. 35 ounces. Big Riverine Bremer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, four ounces of hemp corn. Four ounces of oil cake. Gotta put some, gotta put some giant octopus in there. Two ounces of it. Just a little bit. Just, a, just, you know, you, you don't wanna, you, I, I usually pour it into the cap. I don't even wanna mess up. I pour it into the cap and then I dump the cap in cause you, it'll mess it all up if you just pour it straight in. Mess it, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right, so we got all this figured out. Let's mix it up. Throw it in the old spod, the old spod rod. <sighs> Be easy, hop. I'm a huge fan. Justin on 60 FPS. Well, right on, man. Glad you made it then. I'm, I'm all about, I'm all about big fans. Whoa, that's fallen. My hat's fallen on the ground. All right, let's go. We got, we got big cap of mix to throw, everybody. Should we? Nah, let's just go. Let's go for it. We're gonna do five. We're gonna spot five. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It says it's still cloudy out, so that's kind of interesting. It said it was supposed to be a, a sunny day today. I thought. I thought. Did we skip the sunny day? I'm so confused right now. We might have skipped the sunny day. day four we were supposed to skip to day three weren't we ah crapola well let's just see how many fish we catch a little cloudy today it'll be slow let's give it five minutes we'll give it five minutes of our time our bait's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go bad if we don't use it so might as well try to catch some fish can't miss these dreams trout master says hey right on glad to see you back catching unicorns yeah we'll see man we will see. Nice mullet. Oh, thank you. Been been working on it, growing it out. You know how it is. You know how it is, man. All you uh, all you people with longer hair out there, sometimes sometimes put it up in a ponytail, just so I don't have to deal with it on my neck. <sighs> you know, super cool looking. Almost look like I should be writing a play or something. Uh, orchestra, some something something musical. I don't know. How am I doing, Drayton Ass? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking, man. All right, we got we got some bait out there. It's, I'm so messed up about this freaking sunny day. I think it was a fishing planet bug where the uh, when you go to switch time, this this doesn't update. I think that's what got us. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. I'm past it already. I'm just ready to fish. Let's give this five minutes, everyone, or maybe we'll just wait till eight if we don't get any bites or nothing very good till eight. Gosh, dang it! You threw that far, he nil. Then we'll uh we'll skip we'll skip it along. Move it along to the next day. What's my favorite rod? I like my one rod that looks like a sword. I like that one. No real reason other than that it looks like a sword. Glad you can make it to another stream. How am I doing? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking forever fishing. What is the best fish to grind to get to level 50? Oh, to get to level 50. What is that? Pike? I think it's Pike. I think so. Pretty sure anyway. Just game Wanaka says. Oh, we got nibbles. We got nibbles. 
we got nibbles on a cloudy day. He's, they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Is he gonna go for it? I'm, I'm ready. Oh, I'm so ready. What is up with our drag? Our drag is so low. Oh, this is just the baby. It's just the baby. Hello, baby. 38 pound trophy mirror. Right on, right on. Man, I wish I could catch one of those in real life. That'd be so sweet. 38 pounds too. And to be able to call it a baby. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, you ate awesome. I ate awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm like seven. Eating nine and whatnot. It's good. It mitigates the spammers. I agree, Owen. I agree. First stream I caught and I was first. Well, right on, man. Glad glad you, you made it in perfect time. You're awesome. You're awesome. Hey, Bo, can you catch sharks in the Weeping Willow? Unfortunately not. Only unicorns. Only unicorns and other carp. And, and I think there's also pike here. What's up, Taven? States is here. How's it going, Taven? Looking very stylish with with the with the wig. I don't even know what a wig is. I don't even know what you're talking about, man. I'm just I'm just living my life, you know. I'm just enjoying it. You know, sometimes you just gotta let your hair grow out in your in your very natural color. You can tell it matches my beard perfectly. <laughs> Did I trim my beard or something? something? Something different about me. You just can't put your finger on it. I think it's because I haven't, I haven't upturned my mustache yet tonight. See? Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. Now I look normal. There you go. Hey, Jade Cavill. Hello. Hello. You know, how to play fishing planet like a pro? Like a pro, pro. That's pretty much all my videos. Always playing like a pro. You just, just gotta watch them. I, I mean, here's the thing, you know, obviously titles, you know, they have a character count. You can't put everything that you want on the title and stuff. But I would say, you know, Fishing Planet, Level Blah, Fishing Here, Like a Pro, you know, but by then it gets too long. So I just leave it out. I just leave it out every time. You're awesome. You're awesome, Monica. Kilo Knight, that's it. You got a haircut. Not a bad look. Thank you. You know, I, you know, it's all about the product you put in your hair when it gets this long. It's a, uh, it's a serious game, serious game. More serious than Fishing Planet, believe it or not. Come on, fish. So many. It is a very serious nibbling going on right now. Wee. This is the 54 pound rod, so of course it's kind of weaker. Looks like a common though. Looks like a common though, little little babies. Little babies. I'm assuming it's because it is a cloudy day. It's supposed to be fishing on a sunny day. Don't they know? Don't they know? It's supposed to be fishing on sunny days. Hope you catch uniques. Oh, thank you, Wanaka. Appreciate it. Not many people can rock a mullet nicely, but you can do. I pull it off. It's like I was I was meant to 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 wear this hair. You know, wear my hair this way. I, I believe it. I believe it. Car fishing is so complicated and bass fishing, you just like grab a piece of plastic and throw it at the fish. I know, right? Carp are finicky sometimes. It can easy, it, it can easily become a lot simpler. You know, it's uh, it's funny how uh, you know, something like this. But then you watch uh, you watch a YouTube channel like Carl and Alex or something like that where they're fishing for uh, carp in England. And uh, and in the summer months and whatnot, they just throw, they just throw a ball of of bread with a hook in it, basically, and they just they just throw it out there and let it float on top of the water, and then the carp will come by and grab it, and then they they hook a carp, and it's just like there was nothing complicated about that at all. <laughs> and then they just caught this ten pound carp that's way bigger than most bass you're gonna catch. I think if everyone just gave that a try. Go, go get some bread and just throw it out there. Just joined, Bo. Got the hair now. Oh, do you know it, bro? Dana Sherman. Hi. It was your birthday yesterday. Well, happy er, uh, late birthday, fishing kid. Troll clips. Hi, BZ Hub. Hi. How are you? Three more levels. Weaving Willows is unlocked. Right on. Good day, BZ. Good day, Amanda Campbell. You love Carl. I love Carl and Alex, too. I think they're cool. 
All right, guys. We uh, I was gonna say we could wait till eight, but um, I'm I'm already losing interest. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna save me some time. Just gonna save me. Oh, in bit nibbles. I called it biddles. <laughs> I combine nibbles and bite to biddles. Look at them biddles. Nothing. False. Fake. That was all fake. That wasn't actually a real fish. All right, we're gonna move over here. I'm gonna move right back though. I just wanted to move my uh, move my rods. All right, so this is a cloudy. Which which day? Let's let's figure this out before we skip uh, skip another sunny day. So it's day six. We need to move to day six. All right, this is day six. Let's let's do it. Our bait's gonna be old, unfortunately. Dang it all. Dang it all. Whoa, what the heck was that? Yo, ma let me let me mix this, bro. Let me mix this, bro. Gotta add all this in here again, even though we've already done it once. Top notch. Level 41, Caden Parson says. Right on. What the heck is this floating green stuff here? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Floating green stuff here? I think they messed up something. They messed up the top of their grass. They messed it up. All right. Why is everything so bright? I think it's that new lighting thing that they added. You like it? everyone enjoy that my lines at 11%. Everyone who's everyone who's super critical about uh, uh, the, the the quality of your of your gear and stuff are all freaking out. Oh. I didn't even have my screen at the correct size. Bo's gear's about to break! It's at 11%! Doesn't he know? Doesn't, doesn't he care? Oh my god. He's just using an octopus hook with some corn on it, catching his two or four pound car all day. All day, bro. Yeah. Hey, I mean, hey, I yeah. I caught my first carp on a hook and corn. That's how I that's how I got into carp fishing was I, I literally saw a carp in a clear creek and I was like, man, I want to catch one of those. They're so big, you know, that's what gets you excited because you're catching little bass and little bluegill and stuff. And then you see this freaking huge carp in the water and you're like, bro, I want to catch that thing. So, yeah, then you go buy a can of corn and put a hook through a little kernel of corn and you catch your first carp and you're you're. I mean, you're hooked. I mean, it's 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 punny, but it's true. Um, you, you catch a few carp that are big, and you you understand it. It's fun. Nice hair, bro. Thank you. School got a threat and got canceled. Oh no. Those are never fun. Those are never fun. Then you don't get to learn anything. Got a new iPad for your birthday. Well, right on, fishing kid. That's sweet. That's awesome. Fancy, fancy. I don't even have an iPad. I'm just, I, I never, not, a, I never got around to it. I guess I don't know. So that's cool. You're rocking it. All right, let's catch some big fish. Get that unicorn count. I, that's what I need. I need a unicorn counter. That's what I need. Carly Prim's in the house. When are you gonna play Fishing Planet? I, I I don't know. This is my first time ever playing this game, so I don't know what they're talking about. I don't. They act like I've played this game before. Dang, eleven percent. Dang. Hope everyone is okay. I agree. I am also part of the group, hoping everyone is okay. Beeping. There's some beeping going on. 
big time there was some big time beeping we put out two uh five spots oh fiddles going on there's some some big time fiddles nothing brings carp in faster than a big splash on top of the water they love that <laughs> Your spinning combo is at 9%. Oh my goodness. Indo Gamer's in the house. How's it going, Indo Gamer? Like we're playing the we're playing the classic, the classic music too from our first live streams playing this game. I mean, I mean, this is our first time playing, of course. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. Lots of biddles going on right now. I'll be honest, the lighting is kind of driving me insane. These are so shiny, they're like... They're like flashing me. Just got a picture on the bathroom wall and it said, I have... It's happening today, so it's on lockdown stuff. My goodness gracious. Yeah, that's pretty serious. You don't want... Don't want to deal with that, that's for sure. That's the world we live in, unfortunately. There we go. First, first fish on. Looks like a ghost. Is it gonna be an unicorn though? That is the question. My hair is deadly? Oh my goodness. Wearing nightshade on my head, I guess. I don't know. Bro, he's taking off. He says, not today, man. Not today, man. It's been too long. You don't remember how to fight me. You don't remember how to fight me. Some of you might be going, why don't you juggle with that other rod over there? And the answer is, I don't want to. <laughs> if we catch this fish, we'll go on to uh, go on to the next one. Oh no, we got two on now. Come here, man. This dude, this dude's fighting. I can see the horn on his head. I can see the horn on his head, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. 20. He's at 20. Oh, he's going back out to 30. You went ice fishing in Iowa and caught a 7-pound bass. Dang, man. Nice. Yeah, bro. We got you. Skating you. Skating you. And here we go. There we go, everybody. $4,909. 53 pounds. Can we get it? Can we get it in time? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. It's another ghost. Is it gonna be a uh, is it gonna be a trophy or another uni? That would be shocking, wouldn't it? Catch two unis in a row. When usually it's not possible. When usually not possible. Like my new style, Ahmad says. Thank you, bro. Just watched your first fishing plan in video and it sounded like you were gonna kill someone. It's <laughs> probably upset. I was probably pretty upset. 29 pound trophy ghost there. There we go. There we go, hey boy. 25, 25, 50. Throw this bag out there. Yeah, there's uh, there's quite a bit of difference between the first fishing plan of video and uh, like where we are now, eh? It's been, uh, some time has passed by. Oh geez, I messed that up. I, uh, I stopped looking at what I was doing. Let's try that again. Just drop by to say hi, bye, okay. See you later, drag you out. Thanks for stopping by. We got the full house. Sound like an Irish song. An Irish song? So I, uh, I am gonna get excited because, you know, I am a huge fan of Reuben sandwiches. I don't know if many of you know this, but I'm a big fan. And, uh, and corned beef is so expensive, usually, most of the time. And so, sorry, my hair. Gotta make sure my hair's perfect. Sure. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So anyway, um, corned beef obviously goes on sale around St. Patrick's Day. So that's what I'm most excited about. Some people go, oh, are you a big fan of St. Patrick's Day? In a way, because I love corned beef. Um, 
So I, I, I'm just realistic about the whole thing. Come on, bro. Got so many biddles right now. Unicorns? All you need is some aviator sunglasses and all the females in chat would instantly... Oh, jeez. I hope not. I, I hope not. That wouldn't be good. That sounds... That sounds ma major fishy. How's it going, Evan Keenan asks? It's going... It's going well. It's going well. Let me hop in a game with you. Well, hop into the game, Fishing with Joseph. That's why we play on a friends game so that anyone can join. So many biddles right now. Should I spawn? Should I spawn? Dare I spawn? That's a fish on. That's a fish on. They like to bite at the same time, don't they? Come on, you football. It's a leather. It's a leather. Chainsaw Massacre here. Got leather on his face. Come on, bro. Rod's in the air. Rod's in the air. Uni leather? Bro, $4,260. It stinks, though, because I think the leather is one of the bigger ones we can catch. And that's not very big at all. That's not very big at all. Come on, man. Come on, this is a common. Got a common here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Love your vids, Erica Hill says. Well, right on. Glad. I'm glad you love them. It makes... It makes all the time I put into them worth it when other people love them. Where's my fourth rod? I don't know. I see... I was looking through my inventory... And I feel like I definitely had four rods. But yeah, I was looking through them and I was like, why? Why would they buy stuff? Anyway, another uni. I won't do the, I will skip this uni. But uh, yeah, another one down. Another one down, boys and girls and everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 look at that. Look at that guy. Keep them 1800 XP. 1800 XP. Fishing kids taking off. All right, take care, man. Take care, man. There we go. Well, uh, we got a few more. What do we got? We got a. Uh, we got a mirror. Mirror to get. And a. Uh, and a. Uh, oh, frick. Grass carp. Grass carp and a mirror to get. Oh. Just got a unique Arapaima. Whoa, right on, man. Good deal. Good catch. All the carp rods go together in your inventory. Yeah. Pretty sweet. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on taking line out too it's another common though you'd think it'd only be a trophy i think it's just a trophy but he sure is pulling line out he's just a feisty trophy it's usually not very common to catch two uniques of the same type in a row but it wouldn't be the first time i'm assuming he's just a good good fighting trophy are we still on the quest for the 100 pound carp? Yes. On the, the 100 pound carp besides the Colossus, of course. We've already caught the Colossus. <sighs> Here we go. There we go. It is another unique. Only It was only 36 pounds. That's hilarious. 36 pounds there. You haven't played in a while? Oh, well, try it out again. What's this? Who's who's doing what? Bjorn's on the hunt. Zach Ramchinski. Did I say that correctly? Zachary, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. I can see all of my all of my baits down there. I don't see any fish. Well, there's actually how many yellows are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I see yet six boilies down there. I only have three rods out. Thoroughly confused right now. 
We got Biddles. Wow, no fish. Biddles and no fish. They're attracted to the magic mole. Maybe, maybe. You know, I'm not here to make assumptions. Not here to make assumptions, bro. Could be. Yeah, I mean, we could catch, uh, we could catch Uni Commons back in San Joaquin, and we certainly did. We did catch Uni Commons back in San Joaquin. So, uh, so yeah, they, they don't, they don't, you can catch Uni Commons pretty early on, not that big, of course, until you get to a cool place like Weeping Willows. Um, but yeah, yep, yeah, certainly can. Level 25 and below. Uh, I don't think... I don't think you can go to St. Croix at that point, right? But you can go to Everglades and catch a bunch of bass. Which is usually what I recommend. <laughs> Trying to finish the Lone Star Mad-Eye Buffalo. Any suggestions for bait? Uh, not off the top of my head. I know that, uh, I know that we caught the Mad-Eye, obviously, in the Halloween extravaganza year one. And, uh, and also caught the Mad-Eye in, um... Oh, the the episode where I fished with Carly Priv. So it's gotta be, it's gotta be, you can watch one of those two. Good stuff, good stuff there. Semolina Balls, Owen Jester says. Everglades, go to Everglades. <laughs> this is what I love about car fishing is that, you know, I could be in a hammock right now between those two trees sleeping waiting for this to bite and in fact this last summer that's exactly what I was doing I, well I wasn't a hammock it was a bed chair I was laying in a bed chair waiting for the fish to bite and then they would bite and I would get up and go get get grab my rod and reel them in and then I'd throw them back and then go lay on the bed again it was amazing it's my favorite type of fishing it was a perfect day too. It was sunny and also a little windy, so it wasn't too hot. And the trees were swaying in the wind. Oh my goodness. So much fun. All right, all right. You hear me? About to start spotting. All the fish, they're gonna get so excited. Just caught a five pound walleye at Emerald right on, man. Those are, those are a welcome sight, eh? Always fun, because you end up catching so many smaller walleye that when you finally get like a five pounder, it feels pretty good. And you know what, until you get to St. Croix, you really don't get to go after walleye. And like St. Croix, because there's pike there, you know, it's not like, no one goes to St. Croix like, oh, I'll get to go for walleye. Like no one's thinking that. They're all excited to go after the, uh, to go after the pike most of the time. But yeah, until you go to St. Croix, you know, that uh, that Emerald Lake is really the walleye spot, you know? Splash, 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 splash. There we go, another bite, another bite. Still, this, see, this isn't it. We've got a mirror and we've got a grass carp we still need to catch. And now we're just catching little fish. Just catching little fish, like that's not even that's not even a big fish. Let's go, let's move. That's it. That's that's the last straw. I ain't standing for this no more. I'm sitting down. You all saw it. You all saw it here first. I'm sitting down. No more of this. I ain't dealing with it. I ain't dealing with it. We've got some spots over here. Goodness gracious, taking forever to get in here. I can't remember how often we've tried to fish these spots, but I marked them just in case we wanted to try another deep hole that was pretty close. <laughs> how long are you going to be live for till 9.30 p.m. Central? Another hour and 15 minutes, and then I need to make my, uh, my uh, end of gaming month video where I'm gonna summarize everything that we did this month. Um, and it'll come out tomorrow. And then Wednesday, Wednesday I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be gone, won't be able to live stream. I'll be thinking about all of you though. 
Um, I'll be I'll be preparing to do some fishing. Preparing to do some fishing in uh in Austin, Texas, everybody. So uh, I'm excited about it. I am excited about it. Let's go for this mid one. Right there. Yeah, baby. Right on the money. Right on the money. You got lakes or pond for level 39 for XP bow. Level 39. Uh, that'd be St. Croix, right? Be uh, fishing St. Croix, working your way up to uh, San Joaquin. Um, but that doesn't mean that's all you should play. Whenever you unlock a map, I recommend just going there and just playing, catching the new fish, that sort of thing, doing the missions. Those missions give you XP, and they sometimes give you other stuff like bait coins and uh, lures and whatnot. So it's always fun to go to a new place and get get the get the stuff you can get there, obviously. But um, but yeah. St. Croix, San Joaquin, EESS Pro. Imagine fishing this place in real life. I know, that's why I keep thinking. My uh, my wife, she's thinking about um, taking up a research position in uh, Leicester, Leicestershire. And, uh, and I just keep thinking, keep trying to find some sort of uh, some sort of fishery or something that I can go fishing at. Because I would love to fish in a place like this in real life and uh, and try to you know, it, when you when you actually go to a fishery kind of like this, um, you know, these are fish that that literally get fished for every single day. It's not like uh, a place here in the U.S. Um, that you know, uh, one day someone's going out there to fish for catfish, another day someone's going out there to fish for bass, and then you have the odd guy going carp fishing, and then it kind of goes in a cycle, and so they're not like constantly under pressure. Like these fish. They're, they're carp that are constantly being fished for and so they're weary you know they don't just go after anything they see um, and so it kind of, kind of becomes a challenge at that point to catch them and that's why they end up giving them names and everything you know um, this uh, oh I don't even know gold gold bar uh, armor plated some something or other um, they got so many names and so you show up to these fisheries and you can see the different the different fish with the names and stuff like that because they all look different um, and they all weigh a certain amount so if you catch one of them and take the photo um, there's a lot there's people that are usually gonna be able to know which one that is you know it becomes a becomes a the fish are celebrities in that way pro gamer 2.0 pro bro you've been here long enough that you should know I remember everyone if it's the if it's one question one question you should never have to ask on the bz hub it's do you remember me because i remember everyone it's I, I i'm not tattooing it on my forehead but you should know everyone should know eess and i remember everyone that's uh, that's, it, that's it that's it that's it that's all there is all there is to it don't ask me to explain here we go the trophy lures you get from challenge is worth it? I think so, yeah. Um, like the, uh, the X-Series stuff? Definitely. <laughs> when do you think we'll get new sales on Steam? I don't know. Not, I mean, it won't be a Black Friday sale or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, hard to say. Hard to say. Is that your real hair? It's freaking epic. It's freaking epic. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you know how I roll. I just, you know, I just grow my hair out. It's a little, the chicks dig it when you, you play with it and stuff like that. I Just kind of how I am. Just, just live life without any care. Long hair. Trophy mirror, 29 pounder. Not not great, but not bad. Throw that back out there and we'll pick up this guy beeping away. Beep, 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 beep.
This looks like a ghost. But that are common. Very lightly colored. And uh, it has more of the ghost common shape. Here's pulling us out though. Jeez Louise. Down to 150 now. 170 now. Goodness gracious. I can't remember which rod this is. I think this is one of my stronger rods. I don't think we even tossed out the weaker rod yet. Keaton Smith is here. How's it going, Keaton? Kiwi Boy is here as well. How's it going? Keora. Is it Te Keora? Keora. Keora. This little quarry next to my house that is very precious for some reason. No one can ever catch anything so fun. Just take it on every summer. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. A little bit of a challenge there. No, no, no care, long hair. That's why I always say. Long hair, don't care. Hair, yeah, yeah, bro. That's it, whatever. <laughs> have you fished Lenny the Law Fisher? I have, yeah, a couple times. It's not great. It's not one of my favorite places, that's for sure. Um, you would think with it being an early place and uh, having carp that they would you know, have the the carp go after it. Even though they're little carp, you know, you have a pretty good shot of catching them. Um, just to get people into carp fishing and maybe understanding it from a uh, from a simple standpoint, what they can do to catch carp in the game. But no, they don't. It's really, like it's not a fast thing. It takes for freaking ever to catch anything at that leg and then when you do catch it it's so small it's like why did i wait this long to catch this small fish i'm just gonna go to lone star and catch some bass yeah it is pretty good size common there we go boys 54 pounder they ain't gonna be bad they ain't too bad man pretty much the same size we've been catching i i i'm i'm partly thinking that maybe something in this bait wasn't mixed together correctly i don't know now, it seems like we're catching the same fish over and over again. I don't know which one I activated. Nope. There we go. There we go. We're good now. We're good now, everybody. Don't worry. I'm gonna cast my, uh, my, uh, sh my not stronger rod here. That way, if we do get a big fish, it's not already at a hundred feet, you know. <laughs> You're fishing in the Heron River, right on Dom. And then gone from streams, couldn't make them toad toad to be back. Yak, well, right on. I'm glad you're back. Yakety yak, glad you were back. Look at that, all worked out. Let's get this back in. We got fish on. We got a fish on, everybody. Come on. Come on, let's go. This looks yellow. Just by the, the the water. In the in the water it looks yellow. Roger Johnson's here. How's it going, Roger? Like staying up to 30 to 60 minutes to watch the stream. Oh. Well, right on, Keaton. Appreciate it. Well, I'm glad you're here. It's obviously more fun when people are here to to chat stuff. Stuff like that. Got a lot of visual I need a lot common and mirror. Right on, man. Right on, man. Were you using bread with honey or what were you using? What was what was catching them? Used to sit at Lenny and Villa for like 20 minutes in between fish. Yeah, that's kind of what it was like when we were doing it. It was just very slow. And then that carp don't even pay you that good once you do catch them. This looks like a mirror to me. I think I'm seeing the, the edges of scales on him. The old scaly beast. Glad to be back, autocorrect. <laughs> you like staying up all night long? All night long. All night. All night long. All night. 55 pounder. I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure about this. Something just doesn't seem right. Just isn't adding up. We've got so many, like, at 55 pounds. 
It's just questionable. It's questionable at this point. Let's get this out here. We might be having another fish on here. There's some major biddles going on. Forever Fishing's hanging out well. Take care, Forever Fishing. Good to see you, man. Marshmallow in cold water, bait in a cage feeder. Whoa. Bait in a cage feeder. Marshmallow. Cold water. That's the way to do it. That's the secret. You crack the code. Crack to the code. It's marshmallow bait in a bait feeder in cold water. Trophy common. Trophy common. School tomorrow, you're 11. We're right on. Right on. That's fish. That's fish. Took so long to get their spot rod out. We got another fish on. Good night. The fish are going crazy here. This guy's just coming straight to us. He's just giving up on life. Look at him. Silly goober. Just allowed us to just pull you straight in. Another trophy. 38 pounds. Come on, man. What do you mean we're playing a new game? Obviously we're playing a new game because it's gaming month. We only play new games we've never played before. So this game is called Fishing Planet. Yeah, that's right. You heard it correctly. It's like a whole planet of fishing. It, that's like all they do. You know? Have you ever seen... Have you ever seen anyone doing something else? I mean, even when you do see trains and, and ships going by in this game, like, all they're doing is going to go fishing somewhere else. I don't know if you've ever asked those people driving the trains and the boats and stuff, but that's what they're doing. You know? And you see those big windmills and stuff. All they're doing is grinding up flour and stuff for dough balls to go fishing. Everything is fishing, don't you know? It's fishing planet. The whole, the whole planet. All they care about is fishing. Is buying a boat worth it under level 30? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think you're really, like, there's nothing, like, pressing that you need to be going out in a boat for at level 30 um most of the most of the best i mean i think the first lake that you might make use of a boat uh is gonna be is gonna be saint croy and on a boat you can easily kind of cast for like musky and, and uh and pike and stuff like that if you're wanting to use lures for those um from the from the bank you can obviously fish multiple rods and catch more pike but if, if you're in a boat then you can cast lures towards the bank and pull them out of the reeds and stuff which is also kind of fun i think this is going to be a good leather here can i do a video on flathead and the heron river uh no i don't think they really need a, a video honestly um, all you need to do is throw like crankbaits or uh, just throw some some bait out there. Those flatheads will go for anything. They'll, I mean, the the crankbaits would always got me because I was throwing crankbaits for bass and stuff. And then the next thing I know, a freaking flathead is catching on. So uh, so yeah, if anything, if you want to catch bass and maybe the occasional flathead, just start throwing crankbaits. Specifically, specifically, throw a uh, throw a glow in the dark one at night. If you got it. If you got it. So good on white moves. It's so good. So good on white moves. Yeah, I never used one. Unique leather. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. You all talk me into it. There we go. Crits Gaming, nice hairdo. Thanks, bro. Everyone's so nice there. Everyone keeps commenting on my hairdo. This is sweet. Everyone's so... Everyone's giving me so many compliments. Ooh, the corn. Ooh, the corn. Keep forgetting which button I'm pressing. $5,199, $3,000 XP. $3,000 XP, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have not caught a grass carb on either of these locations. We're, we're, we're throwing stuff out here. The best graphic in YouTube history. The best graphic. 
Best graphic in YouTube history was was made for a fishing game. Did anyone see that coming? That's right, Mr. Beast. Psh, gotcha. Gotcha. You kept trying to make cool stuff. All you needed to do was play a fishing game. What a what a crazy person. That's why I always when I'm on TikTok and, and stuff like that, I always see Mr. Beast's videos. And all the comments usually say, you know, oh, if you like this, go check out PZ Hub. And I'm like, meh, doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. We've, we've been doing way cooler stuff. Way cooler stuff. He like, uh, you know, for instance, here you go. He gives out $10,000 to some dude on the street. Me? I catch a bunch of unicorns at Weeping Willows. Pretty, pretty close to the same thing if, I mean... Obviously, the, the the unicorns of Weaving Willows is better. But, you know, it's... To each their own. To each their own, you know. I'm not here to start any fights, obviously. Let's go. Wish they add Australia or New Zealand places. Ooh. That would be interesting, yeah. That money was real. If our fishing planet money was real. I know. I'd be a half millionaire right now. And that's with spending all of my money. <laughs> when are we playing fishing? But also, how do I grow luscious locks like those on your head? You know, I I actually I actually bought some it was a hair tonic from a guy in the mall the other day. And I put it on my noggin and like the next day nothing happened. And so I went back to the mall to give it back, and he was gone. And I asked people around, I was like, do you know where that guy in the robe was? Like, he was here yesterday, and now he's gone. And they were like, what? We have no idea what you're talking about. And I was like, okay, whatever. And, uh, and now I woke up today and I got this, so I don't know. Took two days. False advertising, if, if you ask me, because he said it would only be one night. But uh, it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm not here to, to, to make a big deal about things. I'm thinking about braiding it, to be honest. Eli Riley's here. How's it going? Hair is on point. Thank you, Scout Blades. Thank you. What would you argue is the best spot to grind at level 49 St. Croix or that other white sturgeon spot? I mean, if you got the white sturgeon spot, then, uh, then give that a go. Give that a run for your money. Um, but, but yes, the Piker are pretty darn good. Scammed, I agree, I was scammed. He also gave me these little critters, said not to feed them after midnight and all that sort of stuff or whatever, but I forgot to feed them all together and they just died, so it's whatever. Who knows what would have happened if we had fed them at the wrong time, I don't know. This is taking too long. Obviously, it's been way too long. We've been waiting here for like a whole minute. Let's head over here. So we caught the Carp Colossus just over yonder, just over yonder. But uh, this is actually one of my favorite little spots just because it's really close. It doesn't take long to throw some out there and you catch a few uniques, then you move on. So let's, let's try it. Getting ready for spring to go walleye fishing. Hey, right on, man. That's great. That sounds fun. <laughs> R.I.P. Hungry Critters. I agree. Yeah. They kind of freaked me out anyway. They look like little Furbies. If anyone knows what a Furby is here. Besides David Probus. They should make a Bahamas ocean map at level 70. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You ever been saltwater fishing in real life? Yes, indeed. Just a few times anyway. Caught a big red fish. Caught um, a few different types of sharks. A um, bunch of jacks. If you go on the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel, you'll see, uh, you'll see videos of them. Fishermen grind the blue cats right now. About the fishermen grinding the blue cats right now? Why are you playing the fisherman? Chris, what are you thinking? 
You need to go to Lake Erie and fish. It's not the first time I've been uh, told that. That's for sure. All right, I don't know how many spots we've done, but I think it's enough. Whatever it is, I think it's enough. These fish are greedy. If they want more than that, then they just need to need to get a job and earn it themselves. Where is King Bjorn? I think King Bjorn's out. He's either outside or he's uh, hanging out in the living room, most likely. It, it was so nice today. It was like, it was almost 60 degrees. And it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Or so we're supposed to get like 8 to 12 inches of snow or something. But man, it was nice today. And uh, and the dogs were outside playing because it wasn't too cold, but it wasn't too hot. They were just having a great time. So, uh, so yeah. It might still be outside, though. I hear claws on the on the wood outside, so someone's outside my door right now. Everyone, join the Discord. Yeah, exactly. Join the Discord. Where? Yeah, I haven't joined the BZ Up Discord. What you been doing with your life? Jeez. It was twenty-one. Oh, amazing! Even. Almost 60 here too, it felt amazing. I know, Zachary and I were outside in t-shirts playing a board game. It was just a tad windy, but otherwise it was all right. Our cards only went flying a couple of times. <laughs> it's like an ocean and the walleye out of Erie is good. Oh man. Now I definitely want to go there. Should we go do this sponsored competition at Lone Star Lake? I think that's what we should do. We should uh we should go do random sponsored competitions that people throw. Great weather, nice breeze blowing through that mullet. I know. Well, the back of your neck can get so can get so hot. You know. Good night. You're roasting inside your room. Oh, goodness gracious. Is your room an oven? 50th place Wells Kitty Post is going on Discord soon. Wow, very cool. Do it, do it, BZ. Catching, I'm catching some some carp though. All of my stuff I have in my inventory right now is for carp. Oh, crappies, crappies at Lone Star. How about uh I don't even know how uh, sponsor competitions work. Do we just do we just literally go how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We caught a trophy mirror that was bigger than a unique common. Jeez. Jeez. How do we um quick little 44k? Going to be 55 Wednesday and raining. It's a Jerry high. Get a hook in one man. Get a hook in one man. Get a hook in a man. How do we do it at a competition? When I go. Sport. Custom competitions. Lone Star. Okay. Check tackle requirements. 10% deducted by the system. Why would the system need to deduct fake fake money? Silly. That's just silly. Check tackle requirements. Common baits, float, insect worm baits, fresh baits. So it's a, it's a, it's a competition fishing with a float rod? I'm so confused. This one's for crappie. I don't know about this, I don't know about this guys. Now purge. I wish we could go do that. That would be fun. American.
fucking shad competition. That would be interesting. Oh well. Let's uh let's let's get some stuff. Now that we're here, we can re up on our stuff. We need some uh we need lots of stuff actually. We need more hemp corn, more oil cake. One thing that's always gotten me is there's got to be a good combination using these boilies. Otherwise, why, why would they be so expensive to to get 95 bait coins? That's crazy, you know. So like these spices boilies and stuff, they they've got to be good. You just need to find the right combination. Big Riverine Beamer. There we go. Are we good? We're all good, I think. Toss that one. Toss that one out. Toss that one out. I think we're good. As long as our line doesn't break on our uh, spot rod, I think we should be okay. Sport. When's your birthday? It's in December, bro. Haven't seen me in a while. <laughs> 56 viewers and only 27 likes. Oh my goodness. What's the deal there? Huh? What's everyone? Do? Everyone's sleeping. Everyone. Oh, oh, maybe they just don't know where the like button is. Maybe that's it. Oh, and Jester's got to head out. Hey, take care, man. Have a good one. All right, let's see. Day three is the ticket. Catch some biggins. Hit that like button. Hit that like. Hit that like button, bro. I don't. I don't want to sound like that. That's why I don't. I, I don't bring it up. You know, until someone else does. <laughs> or you have the. Some people are like, oh, you know what they say here. You know what they say in 2021, you gotta smash that, you gotta, you gotta smash that like button because it's 2021 and all that sort of stuff. I just love how it's, uh, they, they, they act like they don't need to say it, but because it's 2021, they're saying it. It's not 2021 anymore, it's 2022. Just saying, just saying. So, if you want to stay up to date, if you were one to stay up to date, you better say 2022 now. Yeah, but in the videos, they said 2021, because they were older videos, you know, Kiwi boy. Keep up, keep up, keep up, come on now. All right, here we go. Gotta throw it in there. I don't know why it always says it's too heavy for the rod. That or maybe, that or maybe, it's it's fine. It doesn't, doesn't matter that much. Second spot, second spot. Roger Johnson's back. Good deal. Good deal. Getting in two more spots here. Oh, they're extremely reflective, man. It's that lighting thing they put into the game. Everything's so sparkly and messed up. They did it because, uh, I think, uh, the, uh, the polarized glasses. I, that's what I'm thinking. I think they made it unbearably bright because they didn't see a need for their polarized glasses otherwise. We can put it on and see if we even notice a dis difference.
Yeah, see how it's not it's not so reflective anymore? That's why they did it. I guarantee you. They put out the polarized glasses, everyone went. These polarized glass why do we even need them? Why do we even need them? They're 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 dumb. And then they're like, okay, well we'll just make everything super bright. Super bright and annoying. And then then they'll have a reason to wear the glasses. Don't you know? Don't you know? But they have to pay bait coins for the glasses. They can't just buy them with regular money. That would be too convenient. They need to pay their actual money. Flashy thing from Men in Black. Love this new game. It's all right. I don't want to jump to conclusions. I haven't played it for very long. But it seems okay so far. Oh. Um. Check out my new, uh, my new grillin' tongs. Grab anything you need on the grill, plus it has your little team logo on the side. How neat is that? Grab, grab a little pen. Grab some, some alien glasses. Oh my god, they're invisible. Invisible glasses. You can see right through them. They make me invisible. How many, how many fingers am I holding up? Can you tell? How many fingers? <laughs> Is it on? I can't tell. You're hitting the Hayman Knight. What are you hitting the Hayman for? What did he do to you? I don't know why they made the glasses like 100 bacon. I know, right? They're struggling, I think. They're struggling for money. I think that's why they came up with the fishermen. They were like, let's try a different pay model. And this one, the people who didn't like the subscription of Fishing Planet will just be able to buy the game outright and just keep going. It was kind of the whole like the Hunter Classic versus the Hunter Call of the Wild. You know, for the longest time people got upset because they didn't want to pay the subscription with the Hunter Classic and then with uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, you know, obviously it's one payment and then, then DLCs come out and they buy the DLCs too. And then you have the people who were upset that they had to buy DLCs and it's like, god dang man. Do you think they just work for free afterwards? You gotta, you gotta pay for stuff. That paper, that paper, bro. Email. Exactly right. This is a pretty good sized fish, I think. It's fighting. It's fighting anyway. Uh, it's either a leather or a mirror, or I can't tell yet. I'm gonna put all my focus on it though, because it's a good. Good sized fish. It's been fighting pretty well. Could be a uh, could be a seventy plus pounder by the size of them. Yeah, it looks like a mirror to me. Could it be? Could it be our hundred pounder? I don't think so. Come on, man. It's a good sized fish, though. That's for sure. 56 pounds, man. I thought you were much bigger than that. Come on, bro. Good sized fish, though. I wouldn't say no to a 56 pounder in real life, that's for sure. What do we got? Number two? Number two is off for the races. Got a little fish. Little. Oh, it's a grass carp. We weren't catching any grass carp in the last one. We go from a 56 pound fish to a 10 pound grass carp. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Would you pay $50 for the fisherman fishing planet? Rob's not, no.
Especially when I knew I could play Fishing Planet for free, you know? At least with the Hunter Classic versus the Hunter Call of the Wild, it was a completely different game. You know, you don't you don't play the the Hunter Call of the Wild and think, "What? There's a there's a same version of this for free that I could be playing?" Wow. Why was I playing this game that I paid money for then? It just doesn't make any sense. Why would they put out the same game? One costs money and the other one's free. Just stupid. Just, stu just stupid. Oh, you realize Fishing Planet was free? I know, it's it's dumb. Why did, I mean, I think it's, it's kind of unethical almost to have them both out. I think anyway. All the new maps and stuff, yeah, exactly. Come on, man. Got the biddles, but he's not biting. Got the biddles, but it's not biting for real. Or fishing planet, yeah, could certainly could. Ooh. Another bite, another biddle. Oh, so did everyone's uh, week get started out perfectly? Monday? Did everyone see the Halo trailer? Is everyone up to date on everything going on these days? I don't know. Probably not. I'm probably not. Anyone watching anything cool? 69 degrees outside? I'm just not sure about this. Halo trailer looked good. Yeah, looked interesting. I uh, I heard that uh, it's gonna be on a completely separate timeline, like that none of the games are based off of, which is interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that, <laughs> but it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what they do. The coolest live stream. The coolest live stream. Whose live stream is that? Went to Star Wars night at our hockey game in town. The 501st was trying to recruit me and turn my chair into a TIE fighter. Ooh. That's awesome. Tyranno King's in the house. How's it going, Tyranno King? Man, these fish are just being real picky right now, aren't they? Let's spot some more. Cut a, cut, put, a, put, a, put a couple of big spots out there, boys. Should play Sea of Thieves someday. Ah, oh, man. We just ran out of... Uh, this was the last gaming month uh, episode, too. This would have been the last day to try it. Here we are playing Fishing Planet. And I bet you, I bet you we have more people watching than we do likes right now. So why did we even come back to Fishing Planet when no one enjoys it? I don't know. I don't know. Probably should have just played Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I don't know. You want to see more VR episodes? I'll definitely put out some more VR fishing episodes. Uh, people seem to enjoy those. There we got a bite. There we got a bite. Bassmaster, eh? Are you a fan of the Bassmaster? 41 likes with 46 watching. See, I told you. I knew it. I knew it. You really want to see me finish duck season? Okay. We got a few games we need to finish up, I think. That's for sure. I do want to get to the point where we can fish the uh, saltwater fish in that uh, in that one fishing game, the real VR fishing or whatever. Yeah, I, I do want to get to the to the bigger fish in that game.
How many spots do we need to throw into this spot? Cursing, he's cursing. Bad words. Come on, fish. There we go. I was gonna say, come on, man. We're just waiting around here. I, you bet I will not catch a unicorn carp. Oh, man. Oh, man. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Spunky, that's for sure. He must be a leather, because we already caught a unique mirror. Which means, I mean, it's not impossible to catch another unique mirror, but not probable. Not probable. Oh, we got another fish on, too. This guy's out to 90 now. Good night. My goodness, 132, dude. This is one of the stronger rods, too. It's just got some major attitude, this fish. You like Jeremy Wade? Are you gonna tell me to marry him then or something like that? What's your what's your end goal here? Yeah, I like Jeremy Wade. I like river monsters. I like that sort of stuff. You, you like that sort of stuff, Kiwi boy? This dude's just not giving me an inch. Good night, bro. Seriously. That took us out to 130 feet again. You don't like Jeremy Wade. Jeremy Wade's got like the coolest job in the world. It's to travel around and make videos fishing for fish. Getting malaria and stuff. Sounds awesome. I mean, I, I would skip out on the malaria if I had a choice, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. You do what you have to do to catch fish. Just to let you know, you're the best. You're the best, bro. Don't even, don't even with me right now. You like David Attenborough's job? It's, it's pretty cool too. All right, you spunky fish. Get over here. Thirty feet now. Nice leather. You know, fifty-six pounds. No, he's at seventy-one today. Right on. I'll do a unicorn for that. I'll do a unicorn for that. Fifty-seven hundred dollars, forty-three hundred XP, seventy-one pounds. Everybody, that's one of our bigger fish today. That's for sure. We've been catching so many in the mid fifties. Feels good to get one over seventy. Goodness gracious, they get so much bigger though. Boy, does it feel good to get one that big. That's awesome. I prefer stringers or nets in fishing plant. You know, I usually always end up using uh, nets. So many dangerous stuff. Yeah, man. It's because he is one of the river monsters, don't you know? Didn't you get that? It's art. He's representing art. It's an art form. He is also a river monster. RNG fish. Yes, indeed. Fish.
IBC finally get to watch you live. I just subscribed like two months ago. I got on YouTube to see if any of my friends concerns are you live playing my favorite game. You made my night. Irish plays. You made my night, bro. Crazy. Then making your night. Well, I'm glad I made your night too. That's good. That's good. I did it. I I did do it. I did, bro. Couldn't, couldn't. You doubted me. That's that was your first mistake. You doubted. You doubted my ability. <clears throat> Get the whale, Gerald Bates says. How's it going, Gerald? Got nibbles right now. This might be another unicorn ghosty. Another ghosty unicorn. Your little brother said hi. Oh. Well, ooh. go with a yawn first, but then tell your brother hi back. Come on, ghosty. Come on, ghosty. That mullet, though. Bro, I don't know where everyone's talking about mullet. I haven't caught a mullet this entire time. Or using them for bait. Everyone keeps saying, how about that mullet, though? And I'm like, bro, I'm not even a blue crab. I don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry for being late. I'm glad you did the weeping stream. 288, 900 plays. Hey, I'm glad I did too. You know, it's fun to it's fun to give it give it some some play every once in a while. You know, I like bread. Good night. Hey, good night. Take care. Have a good one. Say boo, boo. Oh, when I said it, it went to the top of the water. <gasps> We learned something about ghost carp today. When you yell boo at them, they come to the top of the water. Do you think it's a ghost or a common? Could be a common. I think it is a common, actually. It's so lightly colored, but I think it is just a regular common. So in that case, when we said boo, I, I think we might have scared it. I don't think it was like coming to the top to get a look at us. I think we like we just scared it. See, look at it. It ran all the way. No, bro. What the heck is that, bro? It dropped to the bottom and gave us like half a second. It was gone. What was the... Oh, he know. What are you throwing towards? Wow. Wow. I can't believe that. How much money did you spend on all that carp equipment? I don't know. I think one of these, uh... One of these reels is like 46,000. So... I don't know. I've probably spent 300 or 400,000 on it so far. Carb stuff's expensive in real life and, and in the game. <laughs> Should you come to a Weeping Willow, you're kind of broke. Um, if you have a good setup and you have the right to recipe for bait, then, uh, then yes, it can be quite profitable. Um, but otherwise, you know. It takes a lot of investment to get to a point where you can make good money at Weaving Willows. We've only been here for, I don't even know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could actually probably catch catch more money at like San Joaquin or something. Uh, just going off the time. But I think it's, yeah. I think it's more fun than catching the San Joaquin sturgeon. Watching a lot, I decided to check what you're up to and your hair just got your attention, JP. The deal, bro. Just, just living life. Living life to the fullest. Letting my hair grow out. Long hair, don't care. Since I've watched you morphe YouTube, yeah, I, I agree. Goodness gracious. Two new rods? Goodness gracious. My gosh, what did you do? Win the birthday lottery or something? I never got two rods for my birthday. The heck? Now I'm jealous. You have me you have me playing with my hair, I'm so jealous. Gosh. Hair's sticking in my face. Two new rods. So what kind of rods are they? 288? Oh. 
don't think. Leather mirror. We've only caught a leather and a mirror so far. Should we cast out to this spot? Change it up? <clears throat> and happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. He's going. He's running. Speed stick and the eel claw telescopic. Ooh, very cool. One of my carp rods is a telescopic one. I, I you know, I was always worried about the uh, the strength of the telescopic rods, but honestly, I've, I've, it's worked just fine. I, I think it's great. Um, obviously, it's a carp rod, so it's, I mean, they're made to be pretty strong. But uh, yeah, that was a great rod. It extends to 12 feet, which is pretty dang long. Um, yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> Hoping for a better baitcaster and more lures for your birthday. Right on, man. That's pretty sweet. There we go. You need Ghost Carp. He's blinding us. Blinding us with his bright color. 55, 55 pounds, 3,600 XP and $5,000. Not too shabby. I was baiting up this spot. Nice hair, by the way. Thanks, 288. Two bait casters and two spinning rods. Very cool. Very cool. Which do you like better? Or does it just depend on... Depends on the situation. If you get a DLC for this game, what should you get? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I don't recommend any DLCs. It does. They're all so, like, situational. If you get one too early on, then you're gonna get gear that goes past them, and then you'll never use them again. Um, hypothetically, I mean, obviously, if you just decide to go back and fish for small fish again, then maybe you will. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sport bundle, I think sport bundle. Part of the fun of the game is just playing the game, putting in the time, catching the fish, and, uh, and working your way through the uh the whole thing joanne morgan what does gmo 2022 mean it means gaming month 2022 the whole uh the whole playlist started out with gaming month i actually spelled it out but gaming month 2022 is really long so we shortened it to gmo 22 last year it was gmo 21 obviously this year it's 2022 next year it'll be 2023 so GMO 23 will be next year, you know. You know how it is. You know how it is. Getting some fiddles there. Ooh, this is a grassy. Is he an uni though? That's the question. Do you prefer saltwater or freshwater fishing? You know. Uh, I enjoy both. I really do. Uh, there's a lot of awesome fish that are in fresh water. Not that there's not a lot of... See, Disney uni. Right on, bro. Right on. Let's do unicorn. Unicorn. First uni grass carp of the day, actually. Freaking guy was hard to catch. Got a lot of the other ones. 2,500 XP, though. 48 pounds. Three to seven hundred dollars That'll work. That'll work. Like the hair clips, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of great fish in both saltwater and freshwater, so it's hard to say. Hard to say, man. I've caught I've caught some pretty awesome fish in both. Joanne Morgan with the sub, thanks so much. Appreciate it. When's the next time you're going fishing? Uh, Thursday, I believe. 
I'm gonna be going down to Texas, so we're gonna be doing some fishing in Texas. Still need to buy my fishing license for the trip, but I figured I'd wait till the day of to... Well, maybe I shouldn't. I guess if it's a one-day license, I'd probably want to... Or a three-day license, I'd probably want to wait till I'm there. Some places, they don't like it, like if you buy it the day of. Sometimes, uh, like, they have, uh, laws in place to make sure that you didn't, like, buy it as the game warden was, like, walking up. So, uh, so then they say that you need to own the license, like, the day before, basically, that you use it. But, uh, but no. I don't think that's probably the case when it comes to day passes and three-day licenses and whatnot. You're 11, you're level 29, $939. Yeah, you need to go to catch some bass. Catch some bass in the, in Florida. A lot of your tutorials and guides clips anime says. Well, right on, appreciate it. Woot woot, you are so close to 25K. Everyone invite three friends. <laughs> so true. So true, very true, mom. Thank you. Oh, everyone, the... Uh, my mother's got got surgery tomorrow. She's very excited about it, I'm sure. <laughs> so big well wishes, big well wishes to her. What's your favorite fish to fish? You know, I really enjoy car fishing. Um, I also like channel cat as well. There's a lot of channel cat. Unique common, there we go. A lot of channel catfish in Kansas, obviously, being the state fish. And, uh, and I like fishing for it. But, uh, yeah. You can just fish for them in so many different ways, too. Lemur! -a. It's like a lemur. Um, you can fish for channel catfish on the bottom. You can fish for them with lures. You can fish for them with a float and some bait. I mean, I've, I've caught pretty decent sized channel cat with just a little worm on a, on a little bobber for, for bluegill. Um, caught an eight pound channel cat one time just doing that with a tiny hook tiny hook for bluegill and uh, This channel cat came up and grabbed it and I'll tell you on that small rod for bluegill It was it was quite a fight. I was following him around the pond That was a uh, that was fun Hope it all goes well. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, it was nice to see you. Glad you were able to stop by, Bomb. Everyone's, everyone's, uh, so, so thankful for your awesome hair growing genetics, obviously. Everyone's been complimenting me this whole time, and it's, it's all thanks to her, obviously. I keep putting it behind my ears now. I understand why girls do that. You got a saltwater cat with a red worm. Very cool. Or uh, gaff top sails and hard heads. I think hard head is another catfish that's in saltwater, I think. I can't remember. Trying to trying to recall. We got a good 15 minutes. Minute minutes. I don't know why I put that flare on the end there oh no we, pay, we I just realized I cast it out towards the wrong flop I was putting <clears throat> I was putting bait on this other one but I defaulted and went back to the other one <clears throat> so it was a hundred and twenty nine pounds that was 87 Wow that is a good one Joanne <coughs> goodness gracious achy breaky heart <laughs> Just don't think you understand. Is that the word? Mom, I just don't think you understand. Oi, oi. Cabbage poked you though. Oh no. Gotcha. Is another leather? It's putting up a little bit of a fight anyway. He's a hard fighting trophy. Come on, man. I need to put together a checklist so that way I can make sure I got everything I need in my car. 34 pound trophy leather there. Very cool. Where are we going on Wednesday stream? Well, I'll tell you. 
Um, so this was supposed to be a gaming month video, playing it, playing a you know a new game for the month, but. Um, I knew I was going to be gone on Wednesday because I'll be uh, in Texas for uh, for a fishing trip and supporting my wife as she's giving some speeches at a conference for medical stuff. So uh, so I'm going to be hanging out in a hotel room and then going fishing in the afternoon. So um, hopefully, hopefully have some cool film of some awesome fish um, fishing in the around Austin. So. Yeah, looking forward to it. What hook do you use for Channel Cat at Lone Star? Oh, golly. I don't even know. Just go with a number one, maybe. Number two, number one. Medical stuff. Dot, dot, dot. MDO, Modern Day Outdoorsman. Yeah, bro. MDO. Might have some MDO stuff. Might, uh, might have some short clips on the BZ Hub. We'll just have to see. The MDO is, it, I'm surprised. The MDO is still slowly but surely growing. I think we're almost at 580 subscribers now. I'm not even putting out videos for it either. And it's still, I think we've gained 50 subscribers in the past couple months or something like that, which is, it's the way things go when you're starting out your channel. That's all right. Level 24 and you're still fishing at Lone Star. Well, come on, Scout Plays, what do you do? And move on to mud water or something. Start catching some pickerel and some bass. You gotta move on. You gotta move on. And then once you start catching more pickerel and bass, and you can finally move on to emerald and catch some walleye emerald with the flat flat spoon? Narrow spoon, that's what it is. Use the narrow spoon and emerald for the walleye, then you're talking. Then you're moving, man. 12 minutes. So many biddles going on right now. Biddles on the left, biddles in the middle. No one biting for real. Mr. Hindsight here. What's going on, Carson? I was just thinking, I was thinking, man, if I would have known better, I probably would have done something, something different to catch larger fish today. Really needed someone with hindsight. 14 pound flathead You spent your money and I can't afford my biggest fish is 14 pound flathead. Ooh, did you catch the flathead and a heron? If you don't if you spend all your money, then you'll, you'll most likely have to go back to Lone Star obviously which sounds like that's what you're doing um, But yeah, once you catch some money, you can kind of catch some money catch some fish make some money You can go back to to mud water or Get some some pig roll and some bass there and then move your way move your way up Just just like it again. It's a it's a big deal to Manage your money well in this game And it feels like you're fishing through mud. Yeah uh, Fishing plan into RF4 is that correct? That's uh, yeah, it's kind of the general direction We're gonna we're gonna still keep doing our um, beginner series videos um the issue is that there's only two two more left. I need to do the beginner series video for Marone River and catch some red-tailed catfish and whatnot. And uh, eventually we'll get to the Amazonian maze and uh, and I'll do a beginner series video for that. Might continue, can continue doing some of our guide series videos um, with some of the maps and how I recommend going after different fish because we only did Lone Star and Mudwater for those two. Um, but, but yeah, we are going to spend more time with Russian fishing because it's, it's, it's another game like Fishing Planet. Um, it's free to play, uh, only on PC, which is kind of a, kind of an issue because I know a lot of our people like to play on console, but, uh, but yeah, RF4 has a lot of, uh, a lot of things you can do in the game that you can do in Fishing Planet. And, uh, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be a change of pace. Sorry about that. No problem there, Carson. Hoggers in the chat. Hoggers in the chat. How is the Jeremy Wade of fishing? So far, uh, a lot like Jeremy Wade in the fishing shows. I'm about to, because I don't have a, a, a bite, I'm about to uh, head off and uh, go talk to a tribal chieftain to get some sort of rain dance or a fishing uh, blessing of some sort.
You know, like what happens in every single episode? Basically, we've been fishing all of this time, but the issue was that we angered the gods and we need to go bless the fishing gods. So we're going to the Weeping Willow's gods to get a special dance from a tribal chieftain. He gives me this chicken bones, which is a blessing from the river gods of Weeping Willows. And this will allow us to catch the largest fish here. That's basically how every River Monsters episode goes. Chicken liver is perfect. Caught a lot of unicorns like my. Ooh, okay. <laughs> he does. I did that. 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 Yeah, he kind of has like shoulder pads when he walks. Oh, Oslo is a pain when it comes to getting him to do anything. Oh, big born. Hi, big born. Oh, oh, look at this. We're in the Everglades. Nice boy. hair. I know. Man. Oh, you got a fish on. No, just bills. You sure? Uh, I would have yanked it by now if this was real life. <laughs> and I'm an expert fisherman, so. Oh, this is not be a real Gracious, born. All right, buddy. Look where we are, born. We're in the Everglades. <laughs> what a good boy. Yeah. You been having a great day? You have been having a great day. You've been outside, haven't you? Been outside. Yeah, been outside. He's gonna have a better day tomorrow when it starts snowing. Ooh. Snowing tomorrow. Snow More snow pictures. It's snowing tomorrow, boy. Snow photo shoot. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Big yuck. He's ready for bed. They were sleeping out there. Yeah. Come on, boys. Let him finish the street. Got a few, seven more minutes. Seven more minutes. Perfect timing, too. Got a fish on. Elk hounds, elk hounds everywhere. Spot on impression. Yes, thank you. So happy. So happy you like my Jeremy Wade impression. Thinking about doing it as like for parties and stuff. Jeremy Wade impression, impressionist for. Uh, Book, book me at your next convention, parties and stuff. Isn't that how you spell it? Absolutely. Thanks for all the tips. See you later, Colby. Take care. Ooh, fish on, fish on, man. Fish on, bro. There we go. Another, another little ghosty. All hail the king. I'm gonna go now. Have a good night and uh, great Texas trip. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll have to see, man. I'm going after buffalo. I'm really excited. Really excited. There's a well-known lake outside Austin for buffalo, and I'm uh, I'm I'm all about it. I'm ready. Boo! I should have said boo. I mess. I missed it up, man. I messed it up, man. Oh, oh. Had big time nibbles there. Throwing out more bait. I don't think we have many more to catch here. But I do know we have some more to catch. Got a leather mirror ghost common. Oh, never mind. I guess we caught them all. Never mind. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> I was confused. I was confused. I thought we hadn't caught them all, but we did. Let's move over here. Then we're gonna move over somewhere else. We're gonna move back here. I'm actually gonna try the opposite side. I don't spend a lot of, I'm not sure what their plan was here. They made this crazy rock that like you can see through, but you can't walk through it. So I don't know why they made it. And like, what was their plan? Hey guys, we need, a, we need to have something to put on this island over here. Yeah, it's like a it's like a good fishing spot that people can go, but we need like like we can't just have just rocks and, and trees and stuff. Like that would be boring. Like we need something. I've got it. Let's put a rock that you can see through. Oh cool, yeah, so they can like walk through it and stuff. Uh no. No, they just they can just look through it. They can't walk through it though. Okay. Great idea, Joe. Everyone, Joe gets a raise. Great idea.
What's the biggest fish you caught? What's the biggest fish you caught, bro? Um, I'm not sure. What is it? Is it a bull shark? Nile perch. 411 pound Nile perch. Actually. You're gonna sell chips at school? Oh, don't get in trouble. I'm not, I'm not an enabler. I'm not, no one can come back and say Bo said it was okay. Everyone go, why did you, why did you think that selling chips at school was a good idea? And you're gonna be like, because Bo from BZ Hub said it would be a great idea. Like, no. See it right now. This is recorded. Not an enabler. You know, I said not to get trouble. That's it, that's it. Ranchmaster David, oh yeah. I'm gonna head to bed, I have an awesome night, and sorry for coming so late to say, hey, bro, no big deal, bro. Flip to buy you, flip to buy you. Marcus the Fallow Father's here as well, right on. We got another three minutes. How's your canola? I saw your big lights, David, they look pretty good. Fishing planet ink, be like, be like. Oh man, I'm starting to get, starting to get tired. One more and we'll cast our rods out and see if we can catch some fish before we have to go. The big lights are fantastic. It makes me think that they're playing a football game or something. I watched the canola, but they just kind of wave back and forth real, real quiet like. Which is cool. Got tired of not seeing. <laughs> I think it's awesome. All right, everyone, let's see if we catch anything. Happy birthday, Nolan. Oh, there you go. I just said it. Perfect. Totally the canola bowl. Everyone's excited for the canola bowl. Oh, getting some activity already. Bought the cheap house, I can sleep when it's getting too dark. Slowly starting to pay off your big loan. I still haven't, other than the starting loan, I haven't taken out any more loans yet, so maybe I'll have to do that at some point. Get something cool. Head out, great stream though. Thanks, Kiwi boy, appreciate it. We got one more minute. Will we catch a fish in one, the last one minute? That is the question everyone's asking. Will he do it? Uh, time to go. Time to go speak to the tribal chieftain. Tribal chieftain of the Hollow Rock. We need a blessing from the Weeping Willow fishing gods. Thank you. Okay, we're good now. Come on, come on, fishing planet. That's true, but I haven't needed a harvester yet. If I'm just gonna raise uh, lambs and stuff, then uh, then I just need to mow in a water tank. And maybe not make bales so big. Might help, you know? Oh, come on, I just wanted one more. I just wanted one more. Give me one more fish. So many biddles going on right now. But no fish. Even discussed it with the Weeping Willow gods. Biddles, biddles everywhere. So much activity going on over beyond the marker. What's so confusing? Pretty big old spot there. Deep area. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 
Beep, 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 beep. Come on, that's it. That's a bite. That's a bite, bro. Are you serious? How are none of those bites? They're beeping like crazy. to this point where I'm just waiting for the last fish to bite. I'm like, my my uh, social juices are gone. I'm just literally waiting for a fish to bite so we can end this. <laughs> Boo! A, a ghost, there we go. We got him, our last fish of the night, everyone. Take care. This was great. I was, was glad we were able to do a live stream before, before we call the week quits. Uh, gaming month officially over after tonight. Um, hopefully everyone enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll try to put out a video for tomorrow, but uh, no promises. No promises. Suspense kills you. It really does. Um, we'll just see what happens. I hope everyone has a great week, though. Like I said, I'm going to be taking off to go to Texas to do some fishing and hang out with my wife and um, enjoy that whole trip. And uh, we'll just see what all comes out of it. So... Hopefully, we'll have a nice video in the future, everyone. But until then, take care. We'll see you next time. Big thanks to David Provost and Carly Priv who showed up in the very beginning. And Zacchaeus, of course, my brother. And uh, we'll see you all on next Monday, most likely, because I won't be back till then. Have a great trip in Texas. Thanks, Kilo Knight. Appreciate it. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family. Game on.